Well, I've enjoyed tonight's debate, and I think there was a lot of commonality here, and I'm, I'm sympathetic to misspeaking on things, and I think I might have with, uh, with the senator. Me, but me too, man. A show of respect by the presidential running mates on the debate stage. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz debating a plethora of topics from immigration, the Middle East, abortion rights, and the economy. Joining us this morning to break down some of the key takeaways from last night's vice presidential debate, Dr. Susan Roberts, professor at Davidson College. Dr. Roberts, good Wednesday morning. I know you're able to stay up uh, and watch last night. Thank you for your time this morning. Overall, when you step back and look at it, you just heard, Joel, you mentioned the word respect, cordial, um, <laughs> civil. I mean, things we don't typically see on the stage of debate. Sure. I, w I really thought about it. It was the no debate, no misbehaving, no name calling, no gotcha no memorable, no zingers, um, which is refreshing in a way that it didn't get out of control. And it was not performative. I think that was fun to think, gee, people can talk about some of the issues. Mm. And that to me stuck out. No zingers, no gotcha. No zingers, no gotcha. Performance wise, I think a lot of people are saying by uh, J.D. Vance, He's a very good debater. He spoke very well. Uh, Tim Walls, maybe not so much. Uh, Walls was strong talking about women's rights. J.D. Vance was strong talking about the economy. What do you make of the performance and the way they debated? Well, I have asked myself, would Vance have behaved any differently had there been an audience? Because I think he likes to, to get those one-liners and zingers in front of an audience. But I think style versus substance. And I think that uh, Vance is slick, and I don't think Waltz is. And I think he... Um, I think he kind of at the one time he said, look, I can be a knucklehead. And uh, I think sometimes that really he said, you know, I, he made the impression I'm new at this in a way I've governed, but I'm not a, I'm not a polished speaker. He had lowered expectations. And I think he rose above those expectations. Vance is slick. Well, as he should be, as a Yale-trained lawyer, right? Uh, you've got uh, two military veterans. Uh, Walls was in the Army National Guard. Uh, you've got... Um, I believe it was the Marines uh, for, um, for J.D. Vance. So you've got two, two men that know how to speak on military and uh, uh, issues happening around the world. Is any of what you heard last night, though, especially when you look at the vice presidential part of the ticket with Harris and Trump, is that enough to move the needle for voters, you think? I don't think it's enough to move the needle. Uh, the Guardian had uh, the winners and losers. 42 percent said Vance. 41 percent said Walls. I don't think that that's going to move the 1 percent. But I don't think it's something that um, uh, it's going to be. It's not a it's not a minus for either candidate. I tried to look this morning to see what Trump said about the debate. I have not found it. Um, I thought myself that Vance was talking to an audience of one Donald Trump. And um, I think Trump needs to say it was credible. It was, you know, it was meaty and not look for Vance to be his, um, you know, his uh, mean man. I don't think uh, Vance mean man at all. In fact, my my uh, impression from it was that Vance almost talked more uh, intelligently, coherently about a lot of uh, Trump's platform and kind of said, OK, we've heard a lot of these big picture ideas from my running mate, President Trump. But here's exactly how we're going to do some of those things. Did you get the same impression that Vance kind of explained more than we would have heard from a presidential debate? Uh, I, I think he did. I think he, even though he said about the concepts of plans, he said, who can talk about a 900 page um, document in kind of a sound bite or on a debate stage? I think he was uh, good at really deflecting some of the things about um, inflation, especially about climate change. We heard nothing about Vance that really addressed climate change. But um, I think he was good at uh, not just defending, but really saying, look, we agree on this. We agree on some of the values behind some of the questions. There was a lot of agreement. I love to hear them say, I agree with so-and-so. I agree with so-and-so. Uh, Dr. Roberts, feel free to pass on this question here. But uh, as a female uh, voter out there, what's not that you represent all the women out there watching, but I'm just curious from a female perspective, when you watch both these men, whether they're talking about abortion rights or, or immigration or anything else, what's sort of the female perspective, the vibe that you get? Uh, from watching last night's debate? Sure. I think Walls uh, really framed it in terms of pro-women, pro-freedom. And I think uh, Vance talked about family values and family issues. And I don't think Vance was able to directly answer the question about access to abortion. Uh, that was one that was a little mixed, but Walls could have done a little better about uh, pushing it forward and saying, uh, you really did say 
you were for a national ban on access to abortion. That may be the thing that that rears its head. But I think in terms of how it was framed, um, it was it was to be expected. I don't think that um, I tried to ask myself, am I tired of the uh, family narrative from Vance? Am I tired of the Minnesota narrative from Walls? And in the end, I concluded that I wasn't. Uh, I think Minnesota would be a lovely place to live. <laughs> uh, the governor definitely doing a good job of selling that point and a great job by you as always lending your insight. Dr. Roberts, we are appreciative of you joining us for you taking the time as always making us a little smarter on our mornings. Thank you. Thank you. And you might second guess that Minnesota uh, moving there when it comes to wintertime. <laughs> just, just based <laughs> off of what I heard. Well,